Hey guys, welcome to patch 11.14 analysis. Uh, quite the big patch. I actually like this patch quite a lot. A lot of changes. Um, specifically, Akali, Irelia, uh, Lilia, TK uh, a little as well. Um, and Seraphine. It's uh, probably the most impactful. Same with Nocturne and Stridebreaker. Um, but those are the most affected changes, I'd say. And we'll get right into it. Um, new skins coming out as well. I kind of like the Sentinel skins. Um, so, they took away a bit of Akali's utility. So, you can't cast your E while you're dashing, which means that in high level play where microseconds matter, she's not going to be nearly as OP. And also, they take, take took away 50 base damage from her ulti at all levels. Uh, 40 from the... 40... 45, 45. Yeah, 45 damage. Pretty significant. A lot more than you think. Um, and then not being able to Q while you're eating also sucks. Uh, Darius buff. This is probably significant for like lower elo solo Q. Um, he gets a lot more damage. Uh, earlier on, later on, just in general. He gets more AD. So 10 flat AD and max stacks at level 1. Pretty pretty significant. Pretty strong. Uh, and then some utility buff for her er, for him. Uh, two seconds lower on the cooldown, and then also scales better. Uh, 0.5 seconds per level as well. Yeah, pretty nice for Mundo or not Mundo players, Darius players. Um, so uh, Doctor Mundo, essentially what this changes, it makes it so Mundo jungle is a lot more viable. Um, his health regen got nerfed, um, and also the cooldown on his CC immunity got nerfed as well. So all in all, just a passive nerf. Um, so, I said Mundo Jungle is more viable because of these changes, right? And here's the change. Uh, he heals for 100% of the health cost to his monsters. So he'll be a lot more healthier in the jungle uh, compared to before. And also, his E, it's kind of like a Scion E. It's pretty similar. Uh, it does more damage to minions. Or not minions. Jungle monsters. Sorry for all the... English is hard, guys. Um, but yeah. 5% uh, move speed on Garen Q at all levels, and extra percentage health damage on his ulti. Um, pretty nice, I guess, uh, but I don't think Garen's actually gonna be like meta or anything, but <laughs> rejoice Garen mains, I guess. 2 extra AD base on Graves, that's pretty nice. 68 AD is actually really high for, uh, for ranged champions, so maybe Graves sees some more play, who knows. Uh, 10 more move speed on Elawi. She's pretty immobile, so this should help her a decent amount, but I don't think she'll be meta or anything, so pretty good for Elawi players. Irelia, huge changes actually. Th these changes, okay, in my opinion, Irelia is going to be bust this bot, um, if you ask me. Um, so, health. Th this is similar to Rise, a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so, actually, it's more similar to Akali changes when like they increase her like Q damage and all that, and her E damage. Um, but to get to the, uh, the gist of things, she's going to have 60 less health at level 1, but once you hit level 5, because you get extra health growth now, 15 per level, um, you're going to just get extra health that Irelia previously before this patch would not have gotten before. So you're probably going to have like 140-ish extra health by level 18, which is like 360 gold value or something like that. So that's pretty nice. So Irelia is going to be a Giga Scaler now. She's going to be less OP early, but she's going to be so OP. Like when she gets level five, level six, level seven, she just keeps scaling. It's insane. It's actually crazy. And you guys, <laughs> we're going to get to. Uh, they also increased the ratios, which is fucking crazy. Um, but one thing you have to note about Irelia now is max stacks is four now. Um, you get less attack speed early on, but by level thirteen, it's the exact same as before. Uh, but because max stacks is 4, that means Irelia can Q on 3 melee minions, kill them all, right? And then Q on the enemy, and you're going to have max stacks, and you're going to do that extra magic damage. So watch out for that, guys, if you uh, ever play versus Irelia. Watch out for that. They nerfed the empowered damage base a bit, but they increased this uh, five ratio by 5% bonus 80. So pretty nice for Irelia, I guess. Uh, dash speed is 100 slower, which honestly, I don't think it really matters that much, personally. Um, and also, they changed her damage like her bonus damage to minions you don't have to rank q for us anymore you, can, you get 12 per level uh on champions so like you really don't have to rank q first in fact i like w max on this patch on irelia and you're gonna see why um 
So, okay, Irelia is fucking broken now. So, if you don't know, when you channel W, she gets 50% physical damage reduction. Um, but they changed it to scale really hard. Um, so, it reduces 40 to 80% based on level physical. So, Tower Shot's going to hit you for like 20 damage. Like, um, and they also increase, or added a ratio of magic damage reduction, 20 to 40%. Which is pretty significant. Um, now she can actually play versus AP champions and reduce that damage too. Um, but the craziest part about this is here, you see this 100% AD ratio, right? Um, they increase it to 150%, and that is a lot. Level 1, if you press W as Irelia, you're gonna do 150 damage to everything you hit. That's crazy. They also increased the base damage by uh, 10 at the start, and they also made it so the base damage scales even harder. Okay, so this goes 30 up, right? 50 to 80 is 30. Now it's 45. 75 to 120, that's 45. Holy shit, the, uh, W is overtuned. I don't know what else to say. Um, they changed the missile travel time of Irelia E, so that basically it doesn't really affect anything other than like when you're really close to each other uh, when you're dueling an Irelia. So if she's melee range, she's literally on you, on top of you, it's going to be a bit easier to juke. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really change too much about uh, Irelia E. Um, and then they added a, another mechanic to uh, Irelia. Um, every time she levels her ulti, her Q's cooldown goes down by 0.5 to 2.5 seconds. Uh, I don't really know why they did that, but <laughs> that's kind of busted for fucking scaling them. <laughs> this champion is uh, not very fair. Um, but you can't take advantage of her early because she has no health. But if you miss that window, you're kind of fucked. Uh, Ivern E shield increase later on. 380 nerf on Karma. Lilia, okay, this is huge wall of text. Um, so I'm gonna summarize this for you guys. Um, she has a little bit more armor. They basically want to make her like a drain tank or something like that, you know? Um, so they gave scaling to her passive, actually. Um, I don't think it had before. And also when she applies her passive on monsters and enemy champions. It'll heal her. It's she's straining, you know. <laughs> uh, one thing about the the Lilia Q is it's pretty nerfed early, um, so she's not going to be nearly as strong early again because uh, the cooldown is increased and the mana cost is increased. The mana cost is increased by twenty, which is insane early. Uh, similar thing to Irelia Q, uh, they made it so the the four, the stacks only goes up to four instead of five. Uh, her bonus move speed base is reduced by significantly, like seven percent to three percent. That is crazy. However, they did add ratio uh, scaling, so later on she's going to be pretty insane. Basically, they're just trying to make Lilia late game pretty strong and make her more durable and sticky in fights rather than like just bowling ball fucking looking for sleeps all the time, you know? Um, yeah, they also changed how the move speed duration works and. Made it so we have a little bit of a longer window if you lose stacks. Um, and the cooldown is going to be really long until you max it. So, yeah. Just watch out for that. Base damage increased by 5. Um, w. Okay, so they added so many ratios to her and base damages. So, 20 increase in base damage, 5% increase in ratio. Um, here, the, this is the bowling ball, if you guys don't know. Um, pretty significant cooldown increase. So, Lilia probably maxes W second now. Of e. um, the slow is static, so you don't really, you're not really incentivized to max this until like last, honestly. Um, and they also increase the damage by another 20 at max rank and 5% ratio. Um, their ulti, her ulti, they're trying to make it do more damage and less CC, so the duration is significantly decreased. Um, it used to be just two, now it's 1.5 at the start, and yeah, it's just 0.5 seconds lost on, at all ranks. And also, the drowsy slow has decreased a bit. Now a hard nerf. I don't know. They, <laughs> I don't know what this is about, but now a hard nerf. His Q does less damage. He has a little bit less health. Um, so Nocturne was picker ban in pro play for the previous patch, but now patch 11.14. Um, he's okay, but he's not OP because um, his laning is nerfed, and also Stridebreaker got gutted, which we'll get to down below. Um, Rek'Sai Q damage buff. I don't, I don't really know too much about this, but it doesn't really seem like it'll actually make her that good. So, yeah, doesn't really matter too much. Uh, this is pretty huge, actually. Um, 
ratio buff on Seraphine Q. So every time you put points into Seraphine's Q, she gets increased ratio. Um, so it's five percent extra ratio at all ranks. Pretty big. Seraphine might come back in the meta, guys. Seraphine mid. Uh, Shaco nerf. God bless. Less mobility, less health. Woohoo. Uh, Tom Kench. Uh, they're making it so. Let's see. Huh. Apparently, people are playing him jungle or top. This is just to make him like stuck as support, I guess. Um, yeah, that's about it. Heal, flat gives him a flat heal and gives him some flat damage. So this is all to pander towards Tom Kench support rather than jungle or top lane Tom Kench, which I actually never saw in Challenger. So yeah, um, I'm a little confused a bit on this one, but it makes sense, I'd say. Um, every time you hit someone with your W, your little divey thing, the cooldown is increased to 40% rather than 30%. Or, yeah. And then they increase the base shield on the R. Pretty simple, like, when you eat an ally, spit them out, they get a hit shield. Uh, and that shield is higher, and then he's also more mobile while he has someone eaten early on. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Quality of life buff for Tom Kench. That is basically a buff. It's just a buff. That's what you guys can think of this. Um, Tom Kench... Mana cost uh, buff on his Q, and then just mana cost buffs, honestly. Did I say Tom Kench? I said Tarek. If I didn't say Tarek, it's Tarek. Alright, Xin Zhao, this is, um, I mean, I think he's still okay. Um, well, this is rather significant. Like, once Xin Zhao hits level 9, he's able to get, like, two rotations of his W off in duels. But now, he's only guaranteed one. Um, so, he's going to have to really work hard for the second one. So cooldown may not seem significant at like on first glance, but it's actually really important. So pretty significant Xin Zhao nerf. I think he's still okay, uh, but I don't think he's OP anymore. Uh, base mana reduced on Ziggs. That means he has one less Q to work with because uh, he has 60 less mana. Five more armor on Dead Man's Plate. Pretty cool, I guess. Okay, Stride Breaker. This is huge. So there were a lot of... Stridebreaker was fucking busted last patch. Let's be real, okay? 90% slow for 3 seconds? That's basically a stun, man. Um, but they decreased it to 40% for 3 seconds um, at all t at all times. So, like, Stridebreaker is not nearly as OP. Uh, they also took 100 health off of it and added 580. Uh, but in general, because this slow is so bad now, or it's not as OP... Uh, Stridebreaker meta is probably going to go away in terms of pro play. Like Every champion that was OP last patch was like Nocturne, who could just R and Stridebreaker, you know? And, and they're basically slow for 90%. There's no counterplay to that, so... Yeah. Uh, new game mode. Pretty fun game mode. You can, you can check that out if you want. You can use other people's, other champions' ultis as your summoner spell. Uh, here are what the skins look like this past Sentinel. Riven, Irelia, Vayne, Diana, Olaf, Pantheon, Ascended Pantheon, Prestige. Yeah. Like the Sentinel Irelia, I think. And that's about it, guys. Um, biggest changes are Irelia, Stridebreaker, and Akali kind of got nerfed, and Seraphine feels pretty strong now. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.